Murat Reis the Elder was an Albanian privateer and admiral of the Ottoman Navy. He is regarded as one of the most important Babri Corsairs. Early career Born into an Albanian family in Rhodes or Albania in 1534 he began his career when he joined the crew of Turgut Race at a very young age. He also fought alongside Piri Race in several expeditions. In 1534 Murat Race accompanied Barbarossa Hayred and Pasha to Constantinople where they were received by Suleiman I and appointed to take command of the Ottoman fleet. While in Constantinople, Murat Race participated in the construction of new warships at the naval arsenal on the Golden Horn. Battle of Preveza, Murat Race took part in all of the early naval campaigns of Turgut Race. On September 25 in 26, 1538, he was assigned with the task of preventing the ships of the Holy League under the command of Andrea Doria from landing at Preveza, and he successfully repulsed him from the shoreline. On September 28, he took part in the main combat and played an important role in the Ottoman victory at the Battle of Preveza, where he fought along with Turgut Race in the center rear wing of the Ottoman fleet which had a Y-shaped battle configuration. He continued to accompany Turgut Race until being assigned as the Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Ocean Fleet, Commander of the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet. In 1552 Suleiman I assigned Murat Race as the Commander-in-Chief of the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet. He was the third commander to take this post, after Hadim Suleiman Pasha and Piri Race. The fleet was based in Suez on the Red Sea, with other home ports in Aden and Basra on the Persian Gulf. The home port in Basra, which Murat Race used while fighting the Portuguese forces in the Indian Ocean, consisted of 26 galleys and several smaller vessels. Murat Race repaired these ships and, leaving eight of them in Basra, set sail with 18 galleys to the Indian Ocean. There he encountered a Portuguese fleet of 25 galleys, which had set sail from their base in Goa. Murat Race successfully engaged the numerically superior Portuguese force and after bitter fighting until nightfall, which ended in a stalemate with heavy losses on both sides, the Portuguese fleet retreated back to Goa and Murat Race retreated back to Basra. The result, however, didn't please Suleiman I, who was expecting a decisive victory, and Murat Race was removed from his post, which would be taken by another famous admiral, Saidi Ali Race. Murat Race rejoined Turgut Race and continued to operate with him until the death of the famous seaman at the Siege of Malta in 1565, Siege and Conquest of Cyprus. In 1570 Murat Race, in command of a fleet of 25 galleys, was assigned with the task of clearing the area between Crete, Rhodes and Cyprus for the build-up of the naval siege and eventual conquest of Cyprus. He was also assigned with the task of blocking the Venetian ships based in Crete from sailing to Cyprus and assisting the Venetian forces in that island. He continued to undertake this task until the eventual surrender of Famagusta, the final Venetian stronghold on the island, Canary Islands. In 1585 he led the first expedition of the Barbary Corsairs in the Atlantic Ocean and captured several of the Canary Islands. During the attacks among others he captured the Spanish governor of Lanzarote, who was later ransomed and released. Mediterranean Campaigns Murat Race was later assigned with the task of controlling the lucrative trade routes between Egypt and Anatolia which were often raided by the Venetians, the French and the Maltese Knights. In 1609, he heard of the presence of a joint French-Maltese fleet of ten galleys, including the famous Galeon Rosso, a large galleon armed with 90 cannons which was known among the Ottomans as the Red Inferno, under the command of a knight named Fresene, off the island of Cyprus, and sailed there to engage him. After successfully striking the enemy ships with cannons from both long distance and close range, he severely damaged the Red Inferno and captured the ship. Six out of the ten French Maltese galleys were captured, along with the 500 soldiers aboard, and the total of 160 cannons and 2,000 muskets which they carried. 
During the battle Murat Reis was seriously injured. In 1638 he took part in Siege of Vlora, during which he died. Legacy Murat Reis was buried in Rhodes in accordance with his will. His tomb in Rhodes, which still stands, became a popular shrine for Ottoman sailors in the following centuries, who visited his tomb for blessings before setting sail to distant places. Several submarines of the Turkish Navy have been named after Murat Reis. One of the municipalities that form the city of Algiers, which was once the regional capital of the Ottoman Vilayet of Algeria, is named Bermurad Ray in his honor.